Hi YouTube, it's Rose and I'm making this video to share with you a preview of a documentary I am putting together of all the proof, documentation and witnesses. Uh, some by name and some are anonymous and all, none has been disputed and cannot be because it is all truth and facts. I hope you enjoy it and remember it's just a preview so hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think and subscribe. I pray you are blessed this day and let's check it out. Hi this is Rose and I am making this documentary that I may present it to those that are on fire for the Lord, those that are blood-bought, born-again Christians that will not tolerate the Jezebel spirit, this documentary is for you. Thank you for your time, and God bless you with his peace, his protection, and grace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This was sent to me. Thursday, January 26, 2017, Apostle Lori Lee exposed as a false prophet. The following is a message between the so-called Lori Lee Dykstra and her daughter in 2012. This is some of the documentation that was given to the courts to have her committed for mental treat health treatment. I've highlighted what I think are the most interesting points. I don't have to explain much. Laura lays it out on the table. She still does she still to this day believes she is Mary reincarnated, though she won't say it openly anymore. Of course, Sean, who was supposedly Joseph, realized she was mentally ill and left her. After breaking her out of a psych ward and living with her for several months, she says her family persecuted her for her faith. Anyone with any sense would have the right to be concerned. She said she's had a vision of a knife plunging into her heart in martyrdom that July 4th is the day that she will not be back after that. If that is not crazy talk, I don't know what is. I am posting this solely with the intent of exposing Laura as a false prophet. This is full of false prophecies and to warn those who may follow her. She needs prayer. God has clearly given her strongest delusion as spoken of in 2 Thessalonians 2.11. This is a from an email to her daughter Nicole, May 22nd, 2012. I will be reading mostly the highlighted. I have encountered the two witnesses. Transfiguration, which is what she calls the rapture, is in six weeks. Everything is so supernatural and Joseph has come to me. I am the Apostle of Revelations 12 and I am Mary. She was taken bodily up to heaven and this is a time for me to transition and Joseph has come to me and we are talking. And the two witnesses confirm that I am Mary and he is Joseph and he confirms it. She believes she had met two uh, other a couple that were the two witnesses and she believed that her and Joseph and the other two as a couple were one, so all together the four of them were the two witnesses. And the Lord that confirms it, and I am now nearly about to birth Jesus in transfiguration to the whole body of Christ in the last move of the Spirit. Continuing uh, email from 2012, uh, Laura Lee to her daughter Nicole. If you read about it, Mary was taken bodily to heaven. I have been born here as the Apostle of, Re of Revelations 12. Elijah was taken bodily to heaven and was born as John the Baptist. The church theologians do say that Mary is the Apostle of Revelations 12, and somehow I have always known, but I am adjusting now, and Joseph has come to me. He likewise was taken bodily to heaven and is now born here as are the two witnesses Elijah and Moses. Continuing email from May 22nd 2012 Apostle Laura Lee speaking to her daughter Nicole I have always told you I am the Apostle of Revelations 12 the signs are all confirmed that the abomination of desolations will be 7 4 2012 
This will be the date of transfiguration and the fires of Revelation 18. And I know that God is sovereign, yet these matters of life and death, life and death globally for all saints, all signs that show that I will show you, and even the date of my birth, 72364, at St. Mary's, 7, 4, first and last. Continuing email discussion between Laura Lee and her daughter Nicole, May 22, 2012. Laura speaking. It is prophesied that full miraculous healing will flow from our prayer meetings as and as we establish the 24-7 prayer meetings online and locally. So he is very spiritual and devout, and we know each other. Hmm. Nicole, we know each other, and the first time he emailed me, I knew him, and was so quieted, and it was a miracle. As so, I prophesied to them, the power of the Spirit was so great, they literally sent a policeman to my door to tell me not to come to church these are the things I endured for the Lord's sake they were afraid and said to meet me meet with the pastors before I came back to the church continuing May 23rd Laura Lee speaking to daughter Nicole Joseph and I did this prayer meeting and you can see me speak of him and hear him pray we are wholly committed to the commission of commission God has given us to pray and bring in the end time move of the Spirit we both believe 7 4 2012 is the date of transfiguration and we only have six weeks left